So, you see these onions right here? They're pretty, aren't they? Guess what I just learned the other day? They're not gonna give me what I need them to give. And let me tell you why. Hey y'all, so, I know you've seen in some of my past videos these really beautiful onions right here. Well, these are the onion stalks, rather. And I just love them so much, but I wanted to look up some information on how I could make the actual onion bulb grow faster. Because when I looked at these onions, as beautiful as these actual green onions are, I hadn't been seeing the actual onion bulbs in the soil. So I did a little research on YouTube, um, and please excuse the background noise, but I did a little research on YouTube and I ended up stumbling upon one of my favorite YouTube channels, the 1870s Homestead. She had did a YouTube video a couple years ago about how you can grow really big, beautiful onions. When I watched her YouTube video, I was so shocked because she helped me to become informed on something very important, specifically on how you can grow onions. She said that if you grow onions from sets, which is basically when you get like little small baby onions and put them in soil, that will only produce green onions, which is what you see here. Okay, it'll produce really big, tall and beautiful green onions, but it will not give you the actual onion bulb right which is what i want however you can buy starts which is basically just buying small you know buying um the onion that someone planted from seed and it starts to sprout and then you, you know you can buy those starts or you can simply plant the onion from seed yourself well guess what i did to get these really big green onions i actually purchased the sets that was explained in the, in the video by the 1870s homestead i purchased the sets and i put them in the soil i purchased the sets from a local nursery and i put them in the soil and they've grown really big green onions but i have not seen one onion bulb okay and given the size of these green onions if they were going to produce an actual onion bulb it would be in the soil by now so basically what i'm saying is i completely screwed up because I didn't want to just get green onions, I wanted to actually grow the onion bulb. Uh, that's what I want to cook with. I love to cook with onions and everything. So I just learned a really important lesson and I thought I'd share that with you. Um, you know, there's certainly different ways to grow onions and I just really didn't know that. I didn't know that growing onions from a set wouldn't actually give you an onion bulb. So um, what I'm going to have to do now is harvest these green onions because I'm still going to use these green onions. They're beautiful. They smell great. But after I cut these down and harvest these green onions, I will be going in the soil and getting up the onion bulbs so that I can replant these grow bags with my own onion seed, okay? I'm not too pleased about that because it's kind of late in the season for me to be planting onions um, from seed. They can take quite a while to grow, but I really want to grow them and I'm just really, I really want to grow them so bad. I use onions more than anything, really. That's like the, the base of all my cooking, so I'm gonna have to just do that. Um, and it's not all bad. I did plant some onions, like it, this well, one of the raised beds, I planted some onions from seed. Um, one of these grow bags, I did plant some onions from seed, so it's not all bad, but for the majority, I'm just gonna have to start over. Um, and, and that's okay. Um, if in this season, when winter comes, if we do end up having a really cold frost like we did last year, because I'm planting the seeds in grow bags, I can simply pick up the grow bag and put it in the greenhouse. And that'll allow me to protect the onions from, you know, getting uh, messed up by those cold frosts. Because we've been getting a cold frost over the past couple of years. So, yeah, that's the goal for today is harvest these green onions and get up the onion bulb so that I can replant the onions. So I lost my clippers and I'm gonna have to use these scissors to cut these green onions. <laughs> the life of a gardener.
So y'all, I'm not sure if you can see this because it's so bright out here that I can barely see myself on this camera. But these are the green onions that I've cut off from the um, from the onion sets that I planted. Uh, so this is quite a bit of green onions, and as you can see, they grew quite large because um, from what I saw in the video that I mentioned earlier, when you plant sets, you can get really big and beautiful green onions like you see here. So hey, I guess it's not all bad. lesson for today um but if you enjoyed this video don't forget to like comment and subscribe um you can also share this video if you feel inclined to do so i would greatly appreciate it and i just want to thank you for being here my name is taryn graham and you're watching so in the city on instagram i hope you have a wonderful day and don't forget just keep sewing bye